Howdy, this is Tammy. All right, so there are a couple of different citation options that we can look at for you. Mendeley, EndNote, and Zotero. Um, Zotero is the only one that will has a feature in which you can automatically capture and pull information off a website or out of a um, out of a database that doesn't necessarily have to integrate like there isn't a special button um, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute so it's the only one that will really automatically pull information out of archive.org like we were talking about um, what we're looking at right now is just the Zotero add-on page it's an add-on that works with Microsoft I'm um, sorry Mozilla Firefox so you do have to use Firefox to use this and you can go to actually you can probably see the URL right there on your screen or you can search if you Google Firefox add-on Zotero you can get to this page after you install it I'm gonna go and close this tab you'll see in the lower right hand corner of the screen there's a Zotero button if you click that it opens up what you're looking at right now is my own account lots of crazy random stuff everywhere but basically it's like a little database full of folders that you can use we'll go over how to use Zotero later if you're interested but I wanted to show you is how it pulls information out of archive so we're looking at an article on the screen um, of archive.org and underneath we have the Zotero interface now in the address bar, I'm hovering it over now, and if you can see next to the bookmark, there's this little page like button. Um, if you can see it, it's at the end of the URL string, and circling it to make sure you can see it. It's near the Google search bar if you haven't found it yet. But I'm going to click on it, and you'll see something's happening down in Zotero, and it's saving the item. And what it has done is it's automatically imported all the information it can automatically in this case it got the title it got the authors it actually pulled in the entire abstract right there all the information the URL the DOI and if we click the plus button next to the title in the middle box in the Zotero interface because the left hand side are all the folders the middle are the titles and then the right is the specific information so in the middle box I'm going to expand this and you'll see it took a snapshot of the page and it actually went ahead and pulled in the PDF itself now again we'll go into Zotero in more detail if you want but this PDF is being stored on Zotero server space you can set it up with your own server space um, you can also turn this feature off you can you can tell it not to automatically uh, download the PDF Additionally, if it doesn't automatically pull the PDF, you can manually download it and add it. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to manage different versions um, of these archive.org. In this case, there's only one version available to click on. I'm looking at the bottom of the page with the submission history. There's version 1, version 2, only version 1 is available in PDF and so that's what it downloaded so you'll have to experiment with that a little bit but I hope this has just kinda of given you an overview on how Zotero can pull information from a website and we'll talk more about this later alright